Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Infectious. This is a game where you play as a virus where you infect, replicate and then exterminate. So basically we enter the human body via the lungs. We are now in there. We need to grow our viral colony so that we can infect other organs. Yeah, and basically this is us. We're like a little, little spidery thing. We, we slowly hop over to these cells. We then have to inject our stuff into them. And then after a bit of back and forth, we burst out, we gain some DNA, um, and you can see there's, there's another little dude in there. He is going to help us. He is our little apprentice, but we need to free him completely. He's, I think he's grown up an architect. He doesn't quite have that common sense knowledge yet. So although there is a gap for him to escape, we do actually need to destroy all three of these cells around him. So there goes one, and I'll just penetrate this third one. And then this one is about to pop. There you go. And now I have a little helper. So he's going to come over to this other one and he's going to do a bit of my job for me. So he's penetrated that. So I'm going to penetrate this one all right, right in there. And so boost that explodes. I get DNA for his work and my work. However, he's been trapped. Can you see like the circle thing? So if I get rid of this cell on the end, that should free both of them. And then we can move on. So down in this cell, there's two little apprentices in there. So we got to try and free both of them. But once they're out, that should mean they help us twice as fast because uh, we have a viral colony to grow. So they're now free. One's gone that way. The other one's going to that one as well. So I'm going to go to this one over this side. So I'm infecting these guys, which means I get DNA from that. And the DNA from the other two, they come flying over to me as well. Although looking back over here, <laughs> they're all trapped inside. So I'm going to have to free all of them. They're really not very clever, these apprentices. But anyway, as we boosh out of this cell... All of our little gang is free and they're all heading over this direction, which I think means I can pretty much do nothing. As long as they don't go straight inside and get stuck in the spiral. Oh, you, you idiots. You absolute knobheads. Fine, I'll do it all myself. <laughs> right, well, anyway, we are about to free this. We get the DNA, uh, which we will be able to use to upgrade ourselves. But first, I'm just going to free a few more little apprentices. Now, it's worth noting that as we pop more and more of these cells... That will relay a signal to trigger the immune system, which means we could get attacked. Uh, so we need to be somewhat sensible. Yep, look, there it is. That thing will absolutely destroy us. It looks sort of cute and furry, but uh, it's actually deadly and it will do everything it can to try and destroy me. Uh, and I'm stuck in this cell. I need to burst out of here because it's actually heading towards me. Quick, quick. Right, let's head down. Let's head down. We are so slow, I'm going to have to do an upgrade where I get a bit faster, I think, because this is pathetic. Anyway, I'm going to try and outsmart him by going around this side. Hopefully, I can free these guys in here. Quick! Oh, he took, he took over half my health down. Anyway, do we think we have time to do that? I might do the one at the back first. Just play it safe. We're doing our wiggly stuff, and now we've burst out. We've got some DNA. Uh, that blob is still heading right towards me though, so I'm gonna I'm gonna lure it over this way, and then I'm gonna nip up to here, inject my thing into their thing, and then I've freed these apprentices. So go forth and inject the other cells. Don't go straight into the blob thing, you knobs. <laughs> I feel like we really need to train these up. We need to get a graduate apprentice scheme going. Anyway, I'm just gonna head up here. I'm gonna penetrate this, and then once that bursts, we should be free to escape. So now we can upgrade. So basically every 1,000 DNA we get, we can convert them into genes. So I've got 2,300. So basically that's two genes I can use to upgrade. So I've gotten all out. We've increased our mobility by 100%. Let's go. So this time there's monokites. We need to watch out for those. Uh, there's also these DNA bubbles, which give us bonus DNA. Very nice. Uh, look how much faster I am now as well. It means I can run rings around this blobby guy. Anyway, we're going to do this so as the blob comes towards me. And then as he gets close, we're going to head back up to this way because this one is nearly done. In fact, if I just shove my thing in there, this should now free three of the little apprentices. And look, they are fast as well. So they've gone to the bottom left. I'm going to head this way because the blob is distracted, although not enough. He's just seen me. He's heading back in my direction. Anyway, my apprentices are doing some work. They are bringing all the DNA to me, which is lovely to see. Uh, I very much have the distraction of the blobber, so I'm going to head down here. Let's try and free these three guys. Oh, not quite. I will be back though. Uh, oh, particularly if we do this one, because all my princes are stuck in there. So infecting this cell should free six of our little helpers. But I think we're good. We've just got one more cell to go, and it looks like this guy's beating me to it. He's taking all the glory. 
Well, thankfully, I'm going to be taking all the DNA once it pops out. Mmm, DNA. Anyway, we have enough DNA to get another gene, so I think I'm going to increase my mobility by another 50%. So now we are really fast. Mmm, let's see that DNA up. So a little bit of injecting, a little bit of popping out of there, and then we have three little helpers, and they're all heading this way because, ooh, look, it's, there's four in there. So let's just grab the DNA around the back. I don't think it's wise to stay here with them. I'm going to go, I'm going to go away. I'm going to go up here, I think. Oh, and whilst I'm injecting this cell, over on the right, there's another blobber. So we're going to have to play tactical on this. So let's quickly grab this DNA. We'll head around the back here. I assume, do I have time to do this? This could be risky. This could be very risky. All right, come on, little thing. Penetrate. Do the damage. Boosh. Right, we're out of here. Anyway, back down this way where we have five trapped. We freed one cell. I feel like that one's too risky. We're going to have to come back. I won't leave them behind. Don't worry. I will be back for them. But first, let's try and free some more. All right, there we go. We're free. Let's run. Let's run. Or squirm. I don't really know what this movement is. Anyway, I've penetrated another cell. And this time, we're going to free five little apprentices to go do our bidding for us. However, I reckon most of them are going to go straight into the blobs. Although, actually, actually... The graduate scheme seems to be working. <laughs> They're freeing those three. Nice. So I'll head over this way and get to work on these. Then you can see my helpers. They're doing the top one. Yeah, and there's DNA coming my way, although it's gone straight past me. Come back. Come back, blob of DNA. That's it. Get in my belly. Right, there's one more bit. Yummy. All right, now I've got a gene point. I'm going to spend that on reinforcing my caps here. They're my little apprentices. I can make them a little bit stronger. So hopefully they won't die instantly when they fly into a blob. Uh, particularly important because this is a boss. So there is a boss somewhere on the screen. We need to we need to make sure we survive. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and free as many of these as I can. Oh god, there it is. There it is. It's big. It's green. Run away. Run away. That is fast. Right, so I think I've worked out the green blobs sort of just go in like every direction. It's sort of like one of those screensavers that bounces around the screen. Uh, although that one's coming straight for me. Quick, quick, move down, move down. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because that's the boss in the middle. That is launching all those things. I don't know if it's like aiming them at me or if I'm just quite unlucky. Uh, I think I think we've just confirmed it's launching them at me. Right, move up, move up. Quick, out. Anyway, there are some blobs about as well. You can see that one at the top. He's just been alerted. So he is on the lookout. I still feel like getting all the clones to help me is going to be the key to this. Right, so we're pretty much ready to set these guys free. Just one more cell to get rid of. Right, so that is those guys on the run. I'm going to try and free a few more. So that's another three about to be freed. Thankfully, we just missed the green blob, although they've gone straight into there, you absolute knobs. Bunch of architects. Oh, no, actually, there's one. I think one's still doing it. Okay, we're good. We're good. Yeah, there is. That blob is far too close. So we're going to come down to here and try and free one of these guys. All right, and here you go. The clones are coming to help. We need to be careful. We're about to free four of them, though. Nice. And now they should all start helping, which is great. But now we've got loads of cells. We're actually doing damage to the boss itself. You can see the bar at the top is going down. So the aim of this is to actually destroy the lymph node itself. Um, I think I'm going to, if I free you lot, that should help me quite massively, I think. The downside is we're about to pop out into the green blob. But it's fine, we dodged it, and now we're taking out another cell. This will release four more clones. Yes, go on, my pretties. So that's releasing three more over there. So we'll try and free these guys. And probably all of these guys. There's quite a lot. <laughs> Look at the wall in there. That's like a fly trap. Right then, fly free, my pretties. And then if I distract this guy, hopefully they should all head into his ass, and then they should eat it. What? And then we are good to go. We just got to watch that blob. Yes, the lymph node is down. Aren't lymph nodes, aren't they like in your armpit or something? And now our virus is stronger. We can head into the bone marrow. Let's do some damage to this guy. I can only assume he's an architect and we've been bioengineered to destroy him. Now, this time things are a little bit different. These are the defenses. They leave antibodies, which we really need to avoid. Otherwise, we will be dead. Uh, but we still need to infect some host cells. Yeah, but sadly, we don't get any little princes helping us this time. This is all me. So we just need to carefully penetrate everyone. Collect the DNA, dodge the antibodies, and job should be a good one. You're not going to lie, whoever came up with this cell defense, they didn't really do a very good job. It's pretty easy to avoid all of these. And just think about all the damage I'm doing to this guy's bone marrow. Anyway, there's just two cells left after this one. And look, we've made the strongest shape cell formation. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, it's a proper chode. Still, there's one cell about to burst. And there's the other one. And now we can convert some DNA into genes. And we've unlocked a second tab, replication. Uh, so I think this is how we get the clones back. So if we invest a couple of genes into there, perhaps we'll get two clones every time now. So let's shove my thing into that and then we'll see, do we create some clones this time? Ow, he went straight into me. That really hurt. Yes, we created a clone. So they should be doing some infecting for me now, meaning I can just go around and mop up all of this yummy, yummy DNA. Mmm. And then all the, all the clone DNA comes flying towards me as well, which is beautiful. And remember, each cell they burst turns into more clones as well, meaning we're popping loads of cells all at the same time. Boosh! Nice! Look at all the... <laughs> Look at all the apprentices. We have gone to town. Oh no, oh no. The blob is coming. The blob is coming. Quick! Quick, I can't cancel this. Oh no. Oh no. No! Okay, he may, he may have terminated me. Thankfully, like all viruses, I get a second chance at life. So I'm going to start with this one because they're right next to two adjacent ones. So hopefully the clones there can really go to town and we can multiply super fast. Because not only do the clones do my dirty work for me, they also distract the blobber, giving me time to go and eat DNA and penetrate more cells. All right, so now I've got enough DNA for another gene, which means I can increase my extended virion assembly, which basically just means I get an extra clone in every single cell. So I'm going to try and stick to the same plan of injecting a cell that's like adjacent to other ones, because I know three clones are going to pop out of this. There they go. So one should go to the closest one. Oh, they, none of them went to the closest one. Okay. Anyway, we'll come down here and get that one. That's in the middle of a load of them as well. I'm not gonna lie, I way prefer infecting bone marrow than lungs. This is this is a lot simpler. Like, look how much the virus has spread. Everywhere it goes, like, already infected by someone else. And now I'm gonna speed up how long it takes to infect the host cells. So if we add a gene in there, that reduces the time by two seconds. Which basically means the quicker I can do a bit of this, and then the quicker this guy's bone marrow bursts into lots of little viruses which continue expanding for me. Man, you have to wonder, surely this guy we're infecting, all this bone marrow being mullered. Like, surely he's he's going to be, like, wheelchair-bound now, right? There's, a <laughs> There's so much DNA just flying at me. Anyway, we'll just stand here and let the DNA come to us. And then we'll put another gene in there so it takes four seconds less. But then I've been told to run. You can't kill the boss now, so we have to find a way to escape. Oh, God. So where are we? Is it worth is it worth infecting some of these? It told me to run, so I imagine something is after me. I'm not quite sure what though. But uh, we've released some clones. That should start the clone chain reaction. Oh my goodness, what is that? <laughs> what part of the body are we in? Are these is this like meant to be intestines or something? Is that how food gets chewed up? I'm not sure how biologically accurate this game is. But all I do know is I need to avoid the blades. They look sharp. Anyway, we're flying through here fairly easily. I'm a bit worried about what's on my ass. Oh, there it is. There's the boss. It is huge. All right, lots of things to avoid now. There's like sharp blades. There's there's things trying to penetrate me. I'm meant to be the penetrator. Oh, not the penetratee. Quick. Oh, that was close. <laughs> All right, and I assume this, this is going to lead us to another part of the body we can infect. I mean, where do intestines normally lead to? Right, now where do we go? What is going on in here? This is so long. Um, okay, there's the boss. I don't know how I'm meant to escape him. I don't know how I'm meant to go around him. I'm trapped. I'm trapped. Ow. I can't escape. I can't escape. He's pinned me in. No. Well, that was slightly annoying. Let's see if I can infect some more cells early on. Maybe that will, like, distract him or something. Oh, no. He is after me. He is not distracted in the slightest. All right, so this time we're back. It's taken like five minutes every time to get to here. I don't know how to get round. Do I just come down this way? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, oh, you... I don't understand what I'm meant to do. I don't even know why I'm trying to get to this guy's anus anyway. Anyway, peace, love, and anus termination. Bye!